Thank you for joining us for our Advent devotion. We are using the book, Almost Christmas, a Wesleyan Advent experience for our devotions. Today is Saturday, December 4th, and it is the seventh day of Advent. Our devotion was submitted or given to us by Reverend Rob Fuquay. He is giving us a hymn reflection on Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. This hymn was first published by Charles Wesley in 1744 in a collection of hymns celebrating the birth of Christ. Two simple verses contain some powerful petitions and repetitions. Dr. Michael Hahn, professor of sacred music at Perkins School of Theology, invites us to pay attention to the six imperative verbs. Come, release, find, bring, rule, raise. These words have a pleading, almost desperate feel about them. They are meant to capture the deep longing of Israel awaiting the promised Messiah. They are also meant to capture our own longing for a Savior to release us from sin, help us find rest, bring us hope, rule in our hearts, and raise us to God. Note, too, the repetitions. Born is mentioned four times. Born to set thy people free. Born thy people to deliver. Born a child and yet a king. Born to reign in us forever. We long for the joy of new life. Yet the hope of God doing a new thing in us comes through pleading. To say praise be to God is most meaningful when it follows the plaintive cry, How long, O Lord? Waiting is a necessary discipline for the altogether Christian. Zechariah, the priest, models this spiritual attitude. He and his wife Elizabeth spent their life together waiting for a baby. By the time they are introduced to us, they are well beyond childbearing years. Despite being devout, they were not able to carry out their covenant responsibility of bearing children. Added to this disappointment was the social stigma, which typically fell on the wife, of God's judgment calling of God's judgment causing their barrenness. No doubt, words like release us, deliver us, and be born in us were repeated petitions in their prayers. Then, one day while his division was serving at the temple, Zechariah's name was chosen for the twice daily ritual of entering the holy place to burn incense. This was a rare opportunity. The Jewish priests at that time were divided into 24 divisions. Each division served two weeks a year, and each day two priests were chosen for the honor of burning incense. With a large number of priests and so few opportunities each year, many were never chosen. Once a priest was selected, his name was removed from the list, so each priest would serve once in his life, if at all. On this day, Zechariah not only had a once-in-a-lifetime experience, he heard from the angel Gabriel that his prayer had been heard and he and Elizabeth would have a child. That child would be John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus. Waiting precipitated fulfillment. 
I don't know why God doesn't answer prayers more quickly. Waiting feels like a fruitless nuisance to me most of the time. Yet the Bible affirms that the most significant of saints had to wait before experiencing what they were waiting for. Accepting the importance of waiting, I find that it helps me keep perspective. God is God, and I am not. If my prayers were answered on my schedule, God would be little more to me than a magic genie. As well, I learned to trust God more. Looking with hindsight, I often realize how getting what I want when I want it would not have turned out as well. I keep that in mind when I wait and pray for God to help me trust that God's will is prevailing even when I can't see it. As an old saying goes, what happens in us while we wait is just as important as what we wait for. So what are you waiting for this Advent? More important, how are you waiting for it? Please pray with me. God Most High, thank you for coming to us in human form. Thank you for coming in response to our need for deliverance. Help us to wait well, recognizing that you are God, not us. We want to trust you and know your timing as you answer the prayers we raise. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Pleasant Hill United Methodist Church is glad that you have joined us today. I hope that you have a great day. God bless you.